Good morning friends. Welcome back to my kitchen. I just came back from dropping the kids off at school and uh, for the first time in a couple of days I feel kind of human. Uh, Tuesday I woke up with this horrible ear infection and uh, stuffed up nose and just felt awful. But uh, today I actually feel kind of human. I'm starting to feel like I might uh, be able to do more than just sniffle and blow my nose. I wanted to talk to you today about the power of one, one person, one person in anyone's life. If I think back on, on um, my life growing up on, a, on an acreage in southern Alberta, we were uh, only five kilometers from town, but our nearest neighbor was, you know, one or two kilometers away. Yeah, probably one kilometer away. Um, and I spent a lot of time uh, alone. My, uh, my brothers were six and three years older than me. And so by the time I got to be independent enough to go out and play, my oldest brother was already, you know, taken off and going and being with his friends, playing his sports and doing his thing. And um, so I spent a lot of time uh, playing by myself and playing uh, or watching television. And, and uh, one of the early memories I have is of, of Mr. Dress Up on CBC being, I couldn't have articulated this at the time, but he was a safe place to learn and he seemed to be invested in some very comforting ideas. That it was okay to just be me. Um, recently I watched a, a documentary on Ernie Coombs and his life and um, how closely he related, related to Mr. Rogers, how they, he and Fred Rogers did work together. Um, and and those messages really stuck with me. I mean, even even with programs like Sesame Street, the idea that different was okay, and that um, you could accept someone for who they were and still be yourself were powerful things that I think I carry with me today. You know, I look at um, what's happening in in the world around us here in Alberta, here in Fort McMurray, here in Alberta, here in Canada, here in North America even. And I I know a lot of us feel like political and or corporate leaders are pitting us against each other. Um, but I think that that we have a power to not buy into that narrative, to be positive, um, even in spite of the bad things that are happening around us. Hard work isn't, uh, sorry, happiness isn't always easy. Sometimes it's hard work. Sometimes you have to look for the positive things that are around you. But there are positive things around you. Um, even Oscar the Grouch was happy when he had trash. Um, some, sometimes happiness looks different for other people than it does for you, and that's okay. Um, but the power of one is that having one consistent, positive person in your life can change the trajectory of your life. If you are constantly being told that you're worthless, particularly by the people who you believe love you, eventually you're going to start believing it. But if you have one person in your life who consistently sees you as something, as something good especially, 
that can save a person. So while this is a particularly important to children, and if you if you want to learn more about that, I would encourage you to um, look up Josh Ship with two P's, um, who is a, a a benefactor of the power of one. Um, and, and I believe that this is particularly important to children, that children should have at least one person in their life that see them for them. I, I, I know with our children, um, I'm not always that person. I'm not always the positive person in their life, but they have so many positive people in their lives. Um, their school is amazing. Uh, the amenities we use, the local Wood Buffalo Regional Library, um, the, the people we surround ourselves with, are people who give love freely and I'm so grateful for that but maybe you can be that positive person for somebody else even if it can't be even if you can't be that positive person for yourself you can still be that positive person for someone else and that helps you because by looking for the positive in something some something outside of you it sometimes helps you see the positive that's inside of you. Um, so I would encourage you to identify one person in your life that you regularly interact with and consistently invest time into encouraging them. However that manifests. Um, but the key there is be consistent. I think that trust should be spelled T-I-M-E. Because it is only through the consistent application of being the calm in somebody's chaos. Being an anchor point or a touchstone that they can come back to. And that is only through T-I-M-E, doing the same thing every day or every time you see them. That is how you build trust. I think about one of my good friends, their son. Um, we don't see each other very often anymore. We used to see each other quite a bit when, when he was younger. And I, uh, I, I think he's about nine or ten now I saw him last year um, for the first time in, a, in probably two or three years and I asked him do you remember me and he said yeah you're the guy who gives big hugs and that felt really good and even if that's the only thing he remembers me for I'm happy to be remembered for that because it means that he remembers that I am consistently applying love. And that doesn't have to be you. You don't have to be a hugger. You don't have to be a kisser. You don't have to be a flatterer or anything else. You can just consistently say, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever it is. I think back to my childhood, and there were a couple of businessmen in my community. I grew up in a town called Drumheller. And you know what, I don't even remember these gentlemen's names. But it didn't matter what time of day it was. They always greeted you with, good evening. Could have been 8 o'clock in the morning. Good evening. Uh, it was a quirk. But it was consistent. And I remember it because it was consistent. Um, and the most important consistent thing that you can do is to notice somebody to let them know that you see them not in some weird you know I'm watching you kind of way more you know good morning I love the way you've done your hair today uh, good morning 
It always makes me happy to see your smile. Whatever it is. Um, it, I just think that being consistently positive with one person, I mean, that you might be the only positive thing they see in that day. That's, that seems like a huge burden of responsibility. And if, if you had to be that way for absolutely everyone you encounter that day, that would be a lot of responsibility to carry. But you don't. And, and again, I, the important part here is to be authentic, to be yourself. Um, I think about some friends of mine who um, work in law enforcement. Not big huggers, but uh, this one particular fellow that I am thinking of, who he recently passed away and I'm sad to have seen him go. But I do remember that even from a young, young age, he would shake my hand firmly, not crushingly, but firmly, look me dead in the eye and say, Scott, I'm so happy to see you. That was it. It was authentic. It was real. I felt like that. He was telling me the truth. And that's all it took. So... That's the power of one. I've been telling my girls a lot lately that around here, we don't play to put each other down. We play to lift each other up. And I think that if all of us played like that, this world would be a better place. As always, if you have any comments, I would love to hear them. Um, I would really encourage you that if you like these things, I don't always post these things to my socials. So uh, if you want to stay up to date on when I do post them, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, there's a back catalog of ramblings from the beard and even some clean-shaven stuff as well. There's a few musical selections, some poetry readings, and uh, there will be more twists and turns along the path forward. I'm not trying to make a life as a YouTube content creator but I am just trying to make sure that I keep these messages out there because it's okay to not be okay. And even if you're navigating your pain, you can still be a positive influence on other people around you. I love you all. I hope you have a great day. I hope you're happy. I hope you're healthy. I hope the sun's shining where you are. I hope you're getting ready for this um, solar eclipse that's coming up on mon Monday. If you're not in the transit path, which if you're in Canada, you're not. <laughs> not likely. I don't think maybe somewhere in the eastern maritime provinces, but I don't think it, that anywhere in Canada is actually on the transit path. Um, but be safe. Uh, make sure you're taking proper measures to protect your eyes. Love each other, and I'll talk to you soon.